Okay, here we go. Here's a uh, high fourth graders. Here's a um, very short tutorial about um, multiplying fractions uh, before we get into more um, complicated material. Mm, so when you multiply fractions, it's different from when you added fractions. If you remember when you added fractions, you could only add the numerators, but your denominator stayed the same. When you multiply fractions, um, you multiply both the numbers on top or the numerators or and, and the numbers on the bottom or the and the uh, denominators. Um, another key kind of idea or concept that comes from this is when you multiply a fraction and a fraction, your product or your answer gets smaller actually, um, as opposed to when you multiply whole numbers and then your answer becomes larger. Um, now this applies all the time, except if you have if you're multiplying an improper fraction or a mixed number, that's different because that that includes a whole number. But if your fractions are just fractions and they're not larger than one, um, then your product's going to get smaller. So let's take it. Let's, let's look at an example here. The first one says one third times one fourth. So we know one times one is one, and we know three times four is twelve. So look at the one that we multiplied first. One third. That's how large one third is. That's one equal part out of three equal parts. Then we multiply times one four. And that's one equal part out of four equal parts. And then look at our product is one twelve. Look how tiny one twelfth is. One twelfth is that small, right? That's one equal part out of 12 equal parts. So our product got a lot smaller. Let's take a look at another example. Another example would be, um, let's see here, we have two thirds times three fourths, right? So the number on top is, um, Two times three, that's six. Three times four, that's 12. Um, and then if you're, again, if you're comfortable with fractions, you'll notice that six is half of 12, so that can also be called one half. But for our example here, look at the two fractions that we multiplied. Two out of three, or two thirds, is larger than half, right? That's more than halfway to three, I'm sorry, more than halfway to one. Two is more than halfway, two out of three is, is larger than half of three. Half of three would have been one and a half, or um, yeah, would have been right here down the middle. Um, for the second one, three fourths, three out of four is larger than two fourths, and two fourths is large is exactly one half of four. So three fourths is larger than half of four. But now look at our um, look at our product, six twelve. Six twelve is exactly half of twelve, so it's one half. So our our product actually got a lot smaller. So two out of three times three out of four gave us six out of 12 and our product is um, smaller than the two fractions that we multiplied by. Okay, so that's that's just kind of a, an idea I want you to remember. Um, anytime you're, you're kind of multiplying traditional fractions where neither fraction is, is equal to or greater than one, then your product, even though it might look larger, it's actually smaller than the two that you multiply together. And just remember, when you're multiplying fractions, make sure to multiply the top and the bottom numbers.